Hey, bros, um, you don't know this, but I've had to do this three times today. Well, no, not three times, two times, but three times total. So, we're gonna do a new game. This is Deepest Sleep, the last game to the Deep Sleep series, by far my favorite. And, uh, hopefully it won't lag as much this time. I don't think that wish will be granted. Hopefully it will. It it did last time after after a little while. So I'm messing with like an ice pack thingy my bob, so don't mind any wrestling if you hear any. It's really hot in here, so yeah. Also my computer kept crashing because and I thought it was like overheating or, oh yeah, I start. I thought it was like overheating, so I thought an ice pack would help. So there's your first jump scare. Hey, <laughs> that got me and Hannah the first time, and it's not lagging as much. That's nice. Oh, yeah. I tried uploading the last thingamabob of this game, and it said it was gonna take like freaking f five hours to upload, and I was like. No, I will redo this to make it better and non-laggy and stuff like that. So here I am. Oh, yeah, I forgot to do that. And now, we go to here. The Julie Jewel Room. So, this place here that I'm in uh, right now, uh, this place killed me my first time because oh my god it happened again another dang ad sorry um this place killed me my first time because freaking I was going slow because I was like looking for stuff you know trying to take stuff in I mean the first time I played this it was like me and my sister were ecstatic about it we were like just oh my god deepest is finally out because I had played deep and deeper did you guys see that tell me you saw that why has that not happened to me before I'm going on and on about how I played this game a lot and then here comes something I ain't never seen before holy crap that was creepy huh Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. When the radius of, like, your flashlight starts getting smaller, that means you're about to die. So, that's kind of why I started panicking. But now that we got the handle, my bob, we can stick it in this doohickey and go off to do our, st our stuff. So, that's a thing that can happen. See, now this door is open, and now we're in the sewer. Beware, giant poop turds. No, I'm kidding. Those are those are called bottom feeders. And, uh, they're big and scary. They look like pink leeches. And they eat shadow people for food. But they're blind. So you can sneak past them if you're quiet. As I will, uh, demonstrate here in a bit. That's nowhere, that's just where the worm came in from. There he is. That bar at the top is like a motion sensor thingy. It's how much he senses you. And you can't move too fast or else he'll get you. And you have to do this thing. And you have to go... That thing ticks five times so you can do that. And this changes every time too. Okay, this is easy. Easy to remember. I like the easy to remember stuff, if you haven't realized. Hmm, I wonder why the mirror is broken. I can't see myself yet. Hmm. And then there's this place. And we 
go in here and we get our first stone piece there. There's four of them. We go in here and we smash the shroom to smithereens. And yes, I tried smashing these shrooms the first time I played. To no avail. Did not work. And there's this place. I'm gonna go ahead and get the key from there. Um, I'm gonna tell you right now, there's a bottom feeder down here. See, there he is. What you need to do here is you need to get your hammer, toss it over there, and then climb the frick out of there. Yeah, now we got two stone pieces, and I think we can wind the music box now. Keep the puppet away. Nah, I'm just kidding. Here we go. Well, that was one heck of a music box. <laughs> and everything's broken. It's like we went forward in time. There's a stone piece here. Oh, that was one creepy noise. And this is one creepy guy. And yes, that does... That has happened to me before. That always happens. You don't usually... You don't usually see the shadow people in, like, the dark church where I was. But you always see the, a shadow person in there where the skeleton is. Um... I believe it was like that. Yes, yes it was like that. And now, we take our screwdriver... Our only item left at this point. Undo that and wedge it in there. Like so. And you remember that big old jaggedy bloody teeth room that we that was right here? Yeah, that stopped. And if you move your mouse around a bit, you can like make it do that. There's footprints here. My theory about this room is that it was a shadow person or a traveler or somebody like that who was running from like a bottom feeder and these things were going at the time and he had no choice yeah, that's that's what I think happened and I think he went down there maybe or maybe the bottom feeder got him <laughs> no because the bottom feeder wouldn't go through that thing oh and there's a funny story here about this toast look I'm about to do it a cinnamon toast a bit old, but still crunchy. It's lost in the darkness, like me. I wonder how it did end up here. Hello, my toasty friend. Still here? Of course you are still here. Not much more to say about it. A cinnamon toast. <laughs> I never got that the first time I played. So, like, it's sort of recent for me. And we got our last stone piece. Oops. We can shove that right in there. And, uh, ladder. Now we can go up. And except there's a big bottom feeder after us, so we need to go fast. Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. Close that up. Gotta go faster, faster. And now the plot twist. Hello. Yes. Yes, it is. This is what happened after the well. Actually, you know what? It's not, it's not like a plot twist, but more like a uh, surprise ending. Now I remember. You mean you forgot? They've got me. All this time, I've been... One of them. Ha ha ha. I swear, it must be. It must. It must be bittersweet to be a shadow person because then you could scare the crap out of people. Except for. You're stuck sleeping. And there are two different endings. Um. I'm gonna get the first one here, but before that, uh, it's gonna get a bit wonky, alright, people? Wonkiness go. There was your bit of wonkiness. I uh, hope you read that. To get the first ending, you just have to chase this guy for a bit. 
Uh, actually, yeah, all the way. Just get him. Mm hmm. And then the credits start. Eh. Yeah. I'm gonna pause the recording so you guys don't have to sit through it, but I'm gonna make you sit through it the next time. Just you wait. So here we are at the title screen again. Uh, what you're gonna do here to get the second ending is you're gonna press continue, and it will take you back to the room with the sewing machine in it. And from there you simply just don't catch the guy. You press, you click the first two times, but then you don't go after him the second or third time. Yes, yes, we've read all of this already. One. Okay. Two. After this, you don't click, and you just watch him. See, because remember in the first game, there was a shadow person chasing you down the hallway like this? Yeah. You switch places now. How's it feel? How's it feel? Well, actually, that means that the shadow person in the first game that you closed the door on, uh, he was letting you go, too, so... Hey, that's something. Yeah, there's you. Fortunately, you still have your flashlight until it runs out of batteries, and then you'll be alone in the dark forever, but thankfully you have glowy, glowy eyes, so that's pretty cool. Whatever. And as I promised, I will make you sit through the credits. Unless you leave. Then that's cheating, you cheaters. God. When this game first came out, for me and my sister, it was like, oh my god, because like we were obsessed with like the series at the time because it wasn't completed. And we were just, we wanted to know what would happen. So, so freaking bad. And when this game came out, I was grounded at the time, so I couldn't play for a while. And when I actually got to play, what an impression this game made on me. I just have to say. And this music, though. Right? I mean, I've heard it a million times, but it, uh, I still love it. Uh, I love a lot of music. Like, freaking... Everything except for country. I don't like country music. And... Well, basically that's about it. I like every other kind of music from like super old stuff to like new stuff to like stuff that's in between and stuff that just doesn't know where it is in the world. And it's like, oh, help me. And nobody, and anybody's, everybody's like, no, go screw yourself. And it's like, no. And I said, hey, I'll listen to it. And it's like, yay. What just happened? <laughs> so yeah. Sorry for any like country music fans out there, but uh just not into it. Well that was Deepest Sleep, the final game to the Deep Sleep series. My personal favorite because of the impact it had on my just overall self. To be honest, the Deep Sleep series is what got me started on all the games that I like now. So. Well, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed. You should go definitely check out Deep Sleep for yourselves. It's a great game. I swear. Well, anyways, Epic Fetus. Peace.